And good afternoon. I'm Jack Miller. I'm the uh, CEO of Intellimedics. Intellimedics utilizes the world's most advanced DNA mutation modeling algorithms developed by Georgia Tech over the last 10 years and under exclusive license by Intellimedics to treat patients with very serious diseases, including cancer and any other serious illness. The problem that we have and the problem that we're attacking is that uh, for a large number of very serious diseases, conventional medicine is just not effective. Cancer, of course, is the uh, most notable of those. Uh, the opportunity that we have and the specific point in time where Intellimedics has this uh, incredible um, uh, business opportunity has to do with DNA. Well, what is DNA? DNA is the instruction manual which the body uses to, um, to code every cell in your body, almost every cell. And uh, this DNA was provided to us by our parents at, at conception. Some of us thank our parents, others blame our parents, but at any rate, that is what we have. And then uh, that, that DNA is used to code the proteins, which actually are the building blocks of the body. Well, the, uh, as mentioned in the previous uh, presentation, the uh, Human Genome Project was completed about 15 years ago for the very first uh, coding of the, of the first uh, complete uh, genome. And uh, at that time, uh, well, the uh, cost has come down. About five years ago, Steve Jobs had his genome sequenced for about $100,000. And then uh, today, you can have it done for less than 1000 And the cost is continuing to drop. So this is a very unique point in time where uh, any of us could have our complete genome sequenced for less than $1,000. And pretty soon, it will be even less than that in the hundreds. So that is, is new. And that is where we have the opportunity. Well, having your genome sequence produces a tremendous amount of data, but what do you do with that data? That's where Intellimedics comes in. So what we have is a platform. We take the DNA from a patient, and often that's uh, just a, a saliva sample. We send it off to a company that does the sequencing. That sequencing then produces a data set. We receive that data and feed it into our computers. Uh, these are very powerful computers and, and extremely complex software algorithms, again, developed by Georgia Tech over a very long period of time. Essentially, the way that works is that uh, the computers take a, a look at the mutations that we detect in the sequencing, and we complete a, uh, we develop a 3D model mathematically of those mutations. We can then look and see uh, which drugs, and we look at all drugs, not just FDA-approved drugs or dr drugs that might be associated with a particular disease, but also experimental drugs. So all 6,000 FDA drugs we uh, review, and we determine which drugs can bind to those mutations. And then we provide a prioritized list of those drugs to the physician that can then use that information to more effectively treat the, the patients. And that is very, very new. That's never been done before. And um, so that, that's the opportunity that we're going after. This is an example. We had a, a young lady, her name was Peyton, on the West Coast. Uh, her doctor came to us, uh, had, had exhausted all conventional methods of treatment, and was not getting anywhere. So we took her DNA, we ran it through our system, and we came up with a list of four drugs to try. The first drug that we tried was no change no effect on the patient. The second drug that we tried was chytral. Chytral is an anti-nausea medication. It has absolutely nothing to do with chronic fatigue syndrome. But because of the algorithms, we were able to predict that that might be effective at solving her problems. And this is the email that we got from her parents. The chytral has been nothing short of a miracle. She's lived more of a life in the past few months than she ever have. She went to multiple football games, mall trips, homecoming. This medication has been life altering. That's the kind of impact that we can have on thousands if not millions of people around the world. This science is very new and very powerful. Again, it's been developed over a long period of time. Uh, Dr. Skolnick, Dr. Jeffrey Skolnick, who was the uh, head of the systems biology department at uh, Georgia Tech, has been working in this field for over 30 years. He's been with Georgia Tech about 10, and while he's been there, he's perfected the algorithms and translated that into computing platform. And Telematics, again, has an exclusive license to use this technology uh, for this field. We're in the process now of doing clinical testing, proving this technology is effective. In, 
in uh, six to 12 months, we will be moving towards a full rollout. The team that we have includes myself. Uh, I've got experience in technology for the last 30 years, the last 15 of which has been in the startup community. Uh, I took a company uh, that I founded in 2000, and five years later, we exited at $120 million. Um, Jeff Skolnick is our lead scientist. Again, he's the he's director of systems biology at Georgia Tech, uh, 355 publications. He's very well regarded in this, in this field. And Steve Hickson is our CFO. He's worked uh, at, at with a startup to take it from zero up to uh, 120 million in sales. He's very experienced as well. We have a, a very strong team, uh, a, a, a number of people under Dr. Skolnick in his department. Uh, we, we have the, the group be able to execute on this plan. Since last neural launch, I think the, the most important uh, advancement that we have is in uh, customer validation. We have uh, initiated a clinical trial with a major cancer center that, uh, with patients having pancreatic cancer. Um, I happen to have lost a cousin in pancreatic cancer. Uh, it's a terrible disease. We are hopeful that that, uh, that proves uh, very, very positive. Um, we're working with a major medical center. They have dozens of clinics and we have started to roll out the product uh, with that medical center as well. And we are involved in drug repurposing. Uh, we have a number of patents that we filed. The technology works in, uh, in sort of reverse as well. Uh, we began fundraising. We're currently seeking a million and a half dollars to complete our initial clinical testing phase before we move to full rollout. And of course, we hired a new CEO, which myself, I've been on board about two months. If you have any questions, please see us after uh, the program uh, and uh, in the reception. Thank you very much.